Hey everyone, Ben here with a market update. Uh, it's August 5th, 2024, and just uh, wanted to kind of give a late summer update on what's going on in the Twin Cities market. So let's dive in. Uh, data just out from the MLS. Um, new listings, uh, about 7% higher than they, where they were last year. Um, overall three month total, 2.4% higher than where they were last year. This is kind of holding steady that things, listings are coming on a little faster clip than they were last year. And um, that's adding to the overall inventory as we'll see shortly. This is also affecting the overall inventory as pending sales are a bit slower than where they were last year. And a lot of this has to do with interest rates being a little bit higher. Um, overall, the past three months, pending sales are down 6.6%. Um, and that has led to a you know inventory of homes being uh, quite a bit higher than uh, previous year, um, up almost 12% from a, a year ago. And the three month average is almost 16% more homes on the market. So that's definitely a good thing for buyers um, to have more options. Days on market are, you know, a bit higher, you know, almost 13% higher, 35 days on market till pending. Um, you can kind of see how that's grown over the past several years and just shows that, yeah, the market has slowed quite a bit from its peak in 21, 22. When things were flying off the shelf, uh, the housing affordability is definitely the biggest challenge for buyers right now that with interest rates being higher, prices being higher, uh, yeah, houses are expensive to own. Um, so it's, uh, it's been a tough overall climate, even though there is, you know, a good amount of inventory. Uh, months of supply, 2.5 months, which is 19% higher than it was last year. And you kind of see how that, that number of June to June over the past three years has grown. So that, that just is kind of reflecting that higher inventory on the market, which is good for buyers. Um, so that reflected in the uh, the market meter over the past several years. We can see how you know, the seasonality has moved. Um, we hit our peak market meter um, of seller seller's market in the end of March, and things have slowed down and ebbed towards the uh, buyer's market range. You know, anything for and under is definitely in that stronger buyer's market. So that's that's just showing that, you know, the, the peak selling time is over and now it's kind of entering this, uh, you know, buyers have a little bit more leverage in the market, you know, heading into the fall and winter. Um, and just for comparison, July, end of July this year, about four, end of July last year, where is it? 6.15 and it still dropped down to, you know, mid threes. So it'll be interesting to see what the, this fall and winter, how low this, you know, how strong the buyer's market will become, um, especially if rates kind of drop a little bit, which we'll get to right here. Yeah, we definitely have seen, uh, you know, some economic news pop out with the uh, unemployment going up and the markets have definitely had a big sell off and uh, that has dropped off the bond market, the 10 year bond. And uh, that's helped lower the interest rates because it, you know, they, they want to, to have money to be a little bit easier to borrow to, um, to compensate for that. So yeah, you can kind of see even just over the past couple of months, they're always hovering around uh, seven and now it's, you know, heading into the mid six range and, uh, you know, kind of, we'll keep an eye on the Fed to see if they uh, um, make any moves regarding the, the, the Fed interest rate, which, you know, the speculated September would be a, uh, an official rate drop, but we're already starting to see the market move in that direction. So um, overall, buyers are having a lot more inventory to pick from if they can stomach a little higher interest rate. But interest rates are coming to be a little bit more attractive now. So you might start to see a little bit more buyer energy uh, into the market. Um, sellers, yeah, definitely want to be cautious about, uh, you know, 
going on at the right time because it is not a current seller's market. Um, yeah, you want to be proactive about making sure your house is ready, show ready, and uh, priced uh, appropriately. So hope that helps and reach out with any questions. And thanks for watching.